Okay, so I was going to do a live stream for this, but um, when I was getting ready to do it, um, YouTube gave me some kind of warning that says, hold up, um, we'll get your channel ready for a live stream in 24 hours. So I don't want to wait for 24 hours. I'm just going to make a regular video and then upload it to YouTube so I can talk to you guys about this. What I want to talk to you guys about is, um, well, who I'm trying to get to my target, oh, it fell. My <laughs> target audience for this are, is stay at home mom because I am one and, um, my children are they just became school age kids and now i have between 8 a.m to like 3 30 not 8 a.m 8 45 9 a.m until like 3 30 to do whatever and i was just like okay i can just be home I have no reason to be home. I need to do something with my life, okay? I have sacrificed so much as a stay-at-home mom. Not that, you know, I don't feel accomplished or I don't feel fulfilled by that. But it was definitely some kind of sacrifice because I've worked, you know, for most of my life until I've had kids. And, you know, um, thank goodness my dream was to raise my children, um, you know, until it's time for them to go to school. And that's what I did. I didn't want to bring them to um, daycare. Um, I wanted to be the one to raise them from baby until they're old enough to socialize with their friends at school and things like that. So um, while they're at school, I wanted to find something to do and bring some kind of extra money to the household. So I can get my hair done, I can get my nails done, I can, you know, um, we can save more um, and things like that. So I decided to look for something to do during that time. Not that I haven't had other things that I did throughout the years. Um, I've had a business, a yard sign business um, that went crazy during uh, COVID everybody was ordering these signs because obviously you couldn't do anything during covid um people were just you know ordering these signs for people's birthdays and things like that I'd just go put it in front of the lawn and it was awesome during covid it was so much so that we were able to save for a down payment for our home and i and then it just went down and it's not doing you know right now it's not really doing anything I mean, the business is not really doing anything. Once in a while, I get a friend of mine that knows that I do it. And they're like, can you make a sign for me? And then I do it. Um, but it's not really a business anymore. And I feel like it was just there for a season. It was there for a reason. And I'm not regretting anything. Um, I'm happy and grateful for what it did at the time that it did. And then after that, I became a loan officer. <laughs> I went to school. Not really, but I took the course and then they have some kind of federal or state um, national national exam as a mortgage loan officer. And then I took the exam, I passed and the branch manager that actually um, did our loan for our home, I told them, I was like, hey, I have my license. Can you hire me? So he hired me and then the market went crazy. Market was just not working. Interest rate was just so high. Um, people weren't really buying. It was such a, a hard time. It was such a tough time. I didn't really. I got loans that I've written, um, but they never closed. Like people didn't have enough income because the more interest rate that you have. Um, the higher the interest rate, the more qualifying income that you're going to need, etc. Things like that. I won't bore you with. But it just didn't work out. I'm just saying that it didn't work out. And so that I was just like, I'm just going to move on. My whole life I've been moving on from things. Like, I feel like I've never given up. 
like i'm just gonna try things i don't care if i have to start over if i have to look bad you know as a beginner i'm just here to learn i'm gonna learn it i'm gonna try it if it doesn't work out i'm moving on to something else and i'm gonna keep moving on until i find what works one thing that worked really well for a period of time was the yard time but it just worked for a period of time so knowing that things can work the way that they work i'm just going to keep trying to find that long-term thing that's going to work all the time this job that i'm going to talk about it's not like the biggest not like it's not going to make me a millionaire it's not going to make you a millionaire um but it's going to contribute to my goals at the end because we're able to save more now so my check is just gonna go to the savings account and then that will contribute to my next step so if you're a stay-at-home mom that needs something to do during the day it's not gonna make you rich but if you need some extra income and then you need flexibility you need to be able to go when you can around your children because this was really important for me everything that i've done since i've had my children was very important for me to have it um in a way where i can schedule it around my children you know because when you have kids it's no longer about you it's everything that you do you have to take your children into account first so that's what i did what time is it because i gotta go I don't know what the time is. Okay, I'll put the thing down. Ooh, look. Exposure. Exposure going up. Oh, hell no. What is happening? Exposure going down. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, Hallmark Merchandisers. I talk too much. Um, Hallmark Merchandiser. What's the deal with my eyebrows? <laughs> anyway... Homework merchandiser. What is that? You know, you guys when you, you know when you guys go to the stores like Walgreens, CVS, um, and whatnot, and Walmart, and then there's Hallmark, the birthday cards, right? Birthday cards and anniversary and things like that. So these cards are put. There are there. Some the person that put these cards there are. Hallmark merchandisers. So they don't really work for the actual store where they at. They work for Hallmark. So a merchandiser, that's what I am. That's what I do right now. It's part-time basis. I just go there and I just put the cards and that's it. I wish. But not really. It's a lot more work than this, of course. It's never like that much straightforward. But that's the gist of it. And I was looking for so many things to do. Like, I was, like, looking for... I spent the whole summer because I know the kids were going to be full-time students in September. So I was just, like, researching something that I could do. And I stumbled up, up, upon that. And I was just like, hmm. And I applied for it. I didn't even think I was going to get a phone call. Um, and I did get a phone call. And she was asking me what my availability was. I was straightforward with her. I was just like, listen, I have two children. I don't have um child care i take care of my children i raise them my husband works um three to four days a week and i have three days that are not going to be the same days and you know when my kids go to school i should be able to be pick them up from school and i should be able to be with them after that after school um saturdays and sundays you know, I'm open on Saturdays, but not on Sundays. I had all kinds of restrictions. I was like, hey, you know, I can do that, but then I can't. And I didn't even think I was going to get the job because she was just like, oh, yeah, I need a consistent schedule. I'm like, ma'am, if I had a consistent schedule, I would have given it to you, but I don't. So I was straightforward with them. I'm like, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to work out. I'm so sorry to waste your time. Thank you for calling me. And she's like, you know what? Let me call the manager of your territory and let me find out what she says she was so helpful like i was just like oh my god you're doing all of that for what i mean it might not work out but she's like you know what we're just gonna try it we're gonna figure it out let me find out for you so she she called me back and she's like okay you know what you know i guess it can work um whenever you can um which days i was just like 
I confirmed to her, I was like, it's not set in stone. Some days I'm off. Some days my husband's off. Some days he's not off. Some days my kids are going to be at school. It's the time difference and all that other stuff. And she was just like, okay, it will work out as long as you go there during the weekdays and do your stores. So I was like, okay, perfect. So they hired me. Um, the pay is not the best. It really isn't. Um, where I'm at in New Jersey, it's like fifteen fifty to like sixteen dollars. But it's something, and it's part time. So part time meaning that it's around the lowest hours that I've worked is like six hours, and then the highest, it's upwards of eight to ten hours a week. Um, and you know, I go there whenever, whichever day that I can, whichever day I decide to go there, whichever time that I'm available to go. And it's just like they reimburse you your mileage um, because I have six stores that I am uh, responsible for. Some stores have different frequencies and what they call it. It means that some stores I have to go once a week, some stores I have to go once twice a month and some stores i have to go once a month so i have three stores that i have to go every week and one store i believe two stores i have to go twice a month and then one store i have to go once a month that store is the post office <laughs> and they assign you the hours for each stores and you shouldn't go over these hours. You just go there, utilize the hours that they give you. Sometimes it's two hours, sometimes it's one hour and a half, sometimes it's three hours. One time it was like five hours. And I didn't even go five hours. It was like basically not enough to do to go through the five hours. So I'm not gonna just be there and not do anything. I don't care, I'm just gonna do what needs to be done. If it's not five hours, I'm going home. And that's what I did. I'm not just going to stand there and then just like chill just so that I could utilize these five hours. I didn't do that. I'm going home. Bye. So, yeah. Harvard merchandisers. It's pretty cool. I like it. I go there. I'm enjoying putting the cars, making them look pretty. I'm enjoying, um, you know, fixing the stuff. And when, the, when I look back and I see how cute the aisle looks and everything is in order and everything is looking good. I love it. I don't know. I just go there. I do what I need to do. Um, it it keeps me active. I'm an active person, so you're gonna be you're gonna be working in the back rooms too because this is where they sent the shipment of the boxes of cards and uh, gift wraps and and gift bags and things like that. So you're gonna be lifting boxes, opening boxes, bringing things out, and do your thing. I like it because. I'm an active person and I go there, I do my thing, it's fun for me, and I like it. So if you think this is gonna be your thing, maybe you should do it. And also they have huge um, turnovers. Like the person that trained me, she already quit because she found a full-time job, but she seemed like she liked it when she was doing it. My, um, another thing, my supervisor, she's pretty cool. They're not depending on who your supervisor is my supervisor she's doesn't just like micromanage me she really doesn't like i don't even talk to her like that <laughs> like she i guess after you do your thing they go there and they check it out but it's like whenever something is wrong that i do wrong because i'm pretty new and she calls me and she's like okay remember to do this and remember to do that training wasn't the best but it's like i love the fact that i get to figure it out when i get there you know, like, it's not that hard. <laughs> it really isn't. You go there, you figure out how to put the cards. They show you the basics. Um, they show you the basics on how to put everything out. And then you put everything out. A lot of times, you can change things based on common sense. And that's what I've been doing. And then my supervisor's like, okay, I love that. You know, I love where you put this and where you put that. And... It's been working out. I love the independence part of it because I've always been an independent person, opening my own business and entrepreneurial loan officer. I love having a space where I can figure out the best way of doing something for myself. Like you can have um, one way of doing something and then somebody else might find another way that's easier for them to do. 
it to do it that's how i am with that one so 14 minutes um i don't know if i'm gonna upload this if i upload it it's gonna be just like a horrible uh, video but this is me it's myself i'm trying this youtube thing the reason why i'm not doing really well on youtube is because i'm not being consistent i'm i know what i'm doing wrong like i know what i'm doing wrong i'm gonna change it i just need the time to change it. what time is it anyway i gotta go bye <laughs>